won't take more than one or two minutes of your time. But I just wanted to let you know a little bit about this uh, little device right here. Um, um, this is a solar uh, power plant. Uh, if you see it says onemillionlife.org, which is an organization um, that in conjunction with uh, one of my former students, her name is Karishma, she raised some money because um, she wanted to donate some of these to you guys. Uh, I think there will be more coming shortly. In total, we should have about 50. But what we hope to do is set up a, a library system for the solar lamp. I don't know if any of you are without electricity at home. But um, the solar lamp, hopefully what we want to do is um, we'll put them in the library. You guys can have like a checkout system like we do in the library. You can check it out for the night if you'd like. Um, if you don't have any electricity and you want to go home and read, and then you have to return it the next day. My goal personally is to hopefully get enough lights and bring them back next year so that we have enough to go around for everybody. But for now, um, these will be in the library. Um, they're supposed to be coming soon. We have about eight right now. The other 42 were shipped, so they should be coming. But it's a solar-powered lamp, okay? Uh, it lasts up to eight hours if you have it on the first setting, which is the least bright. Okay, and then the second setting, which is a little bit brighter, okay, this lasts about four hours, okay? So you need to leave it out in the sun, obviously, so that it can charge. And uh, I believe this light will flash when it is fully charged. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. It's pretty bright, okay? And the only thing, though, is you cannot put it in water, okay? So you can't dunk it in the water. But it can get wet, so if it's raining outside, that's fine, you just can't put it in a bucket, okay? Uh, but hopefully uh, we can get enough for all of you to have, but right now with the um, help of Karishma Copley, she's a student that I used to teach. Okay, uh, she heard about how I came to Africa and she wanted to help. So she uh, got about 50 of these. She's 16 years old, so I don't know how many of you how old you are. But she's 16. She goes to Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Virginia, which is a high school geared towards students who uh, enjoy the sciences, maybe want to become a doctor, work in technology. And so she really wants to do something for you all, so she works with the One Million Life, or, uh, One Million Life organization to get these for you. So hopefully you guys can use them. Um, and if not, maybe you can talk to the other little kids and tell them about it and let them know, okay? But it charges from the sun and it has two settings, low and high, okay? Thank you, sorry, didn't mean to